When I was a teenager, I became slightly fixated with hoovering. My mum was very pleased, as you might imagine. I think it helped with my obsessive compulsive disorder, being able to plough these fine lines across the carpet. I never paused to think where the hoover came from, still less realised that hoovers were manufactured in a small Lanarkshire town. I was 17 years and played with hoover. That was a great job. The atmosphere was good, really good. Play people from Lanarkshire, Glasgow, East Coast, all around the area, they were coming in. I can't say a bad thing about the Hoover, I can't. That's personal. I think most of the people at Wharton it would be the same. Hoover was one of those names that went from being a brand noun to a verb. We rarely talk about vacuuming, always about hoovering, despite the other brands that have come along since. By the mid-1970s, the Hoover plant was employing 5,500 people and it spread over 1,000 square feet. It was a modern industrial giant. By the 1980s, when we had this very hoover in our house, staff numbers had begun to dwindle. Work too was going to China. Then in 1992 came a fiasco that would leave its mark on the entire Hoover company. That year, the company instigated a marketing ploy to shift a backlog of washing machines and hoovers in their warehouse. In 1992, Hoover decided that they would give away free European flights with the purchase of a vacuum cleaner or a washing machine. And it was really popular with the, the general public. People bought them even if they didn't need them. Very many of people didn't actually even reclaim the flights. Up to about a third um, actually claimed their flights and the rest of people didn't, didn't do it. The offer was popular. They extended it to free flights to the United States of America. The offer became overwhelming for the company. They were offering free flights to Florida or um, New York. And, and that was where they really, it really began to go wrong for them. Flights to America at that time were really expensive. We didn't have cheap flights in the same way that we do now, so people were really enthusiastic about getting their flights to America. I think it's absolutely disgusting. We have con people left, right and centre. The majority of people have bought products, which, if we have to be honest about, didn't really want. They were attracted because they were going to get free flights, and now they're just backing out on everyone. By the end, Hoover had spent £48 million. It was a disaster. Hi, that was a boo-boo, a big one. Though the free flights fiasco didn't close the Cambus Lang factory down, it was a factor in its eventual demise. There was now competition from other vacuum cleaner makers, smarter, newer models. We need to wait and see what happens. Take it further. We've been so close to be closing, so not. They've tried their best. We've been here for over 50 years, I don't know, and there has been major change, but we're still here, and we plan to be here in 10 years' time, 20 years' time. In Canvas Lang, the numbers of workers fell into the hundreds. Then, in 2005, the closure of the factory was announced. This is the Cambuslang site of the former factory. It closed in 2005 and was eventually demolished in 2008. More industrial dust cloaking the Lanarkshire landscape. <laughs> <laughs>